And we're back, fellow knife enthusiast. I'm C, and this is... Jaw. Just Jaw. Yeah. This week's episode is featuring some new knives. What? I know, it's crazy, Such isn't a it? different for us. From Kershaw United Cutlery, Reich and Tops. Oh, yeah! Along with a special knife appearance by Extrema Ratio. Oh, wow. A varied lineup for you today, so make sure to stay tuned. I say we start with the... Uh, Reich Thor 7. Hmm. Fine, say you? Fine, says oh, me. Right. Go ahead. So this folder comes in for right now. Four different versions. Black and red, black and green, black and blue, and of course, the traditional Batman black. I was thinking more Darth Vader, Ninja, or Wesley Snipes, but okay. Ah, oh, tax evaders. Yeah, more versions are up and coming. What, Batman is a tax evader? Hmm. You don't think Batman pays his taxes? You know what? Batman's probably an upstanding citizen. He is. Gosh, probably, he's a vigilante. I bet he even Gotham. claims his belt as a uh, tax deduction. Probably. Yeah. Okay. Um, more versions are up and coming, especially some carbon fiber ones. So just keep that in mind. Anyways, we have the green and black and the plain black here today. It's 8.25 inches overall with a 3.5 inch 154 CM stainless blade. Handle is G10 with titanium bolster. Tip up pocket clip, of course. This line of locks blade is deployed through a flipper and features Reich's 1902 blue pivot cap detail. Whoop, whoop. Finally, it weighs just 3.17 ounce and is just 164 at AtlanticKnife.com. <laughs> All right, thoughts. Yeah, by the way, I want to say ding every time. Well, good. People are writing it now. Good. They're like, hey, I said. On the little YouTube that comments mm -hmm. on the bottom. The YouTube. The YouTube. We like AnlineKnife.com. Bing. Good for them. Yeah. I know. Thank I'm proud you. of them too. Boss loves you. Well, Reich's one of my favorites. They always have their strange kind of out there designs that work usually, excluding the amulet. <laughs> I like their Alien series, which this knife has obviously borrowed some features from. You know, the ridged blade here and the insect like handle. I do think that they could have made it look a little more put together. I just feel like some of the materials and the colors don't quite go. It looks like they took a handle and they just shoved it in this bolster. It doesn't look like it, it quite fits to me. Hmm. And I also have a problem with this this half lanyard hole that's not really a lanyard hole. Why put the hole there? Because you can't really use a lanyard there. The knife's going to hit it. Don't put the hole there at all, okay? If you're not going to have a lanyard hole, don't put the hole at all. Just get rid of it. All right. I do like they have carbon fiber versions. And I love the 1902 details, you know, the blue screws, the pivot cap cover. I like that stuff. And along with the blade style and the materials, I like this. Mm -hmm. I just think they, they could have made it more cohesive. All right. So. It just sounds, oh, and I like this. Yeah, I'm sure you do. I do. You want to pop open the box? Maybe. Oh. No, it's not Bassinelli. Yeah, great. I'm sorry. I like it a lot. I think maybe because you're a woman, you don't like it. You have a different sense of what goes together to a man. Yeah. It goes you're, together you're, great. Slap whatever. Yeah, it's whatever. I mean, you know, this shines and looks nice, and I, I like it. I like the design of the blade. Oh, I'm feeling that tension. The usability. <laughs> yes. You know me. I gotta be able to hold it different ways to use it. Um, the handle. I'm okay with it. I would like for it to be a little. I don't know Grippy? what the word is. Yeah, just... A little more texture so you can... It doesn't feel like a standard G10 that I would think of. Oh, I gotcha. But I like the design. I like how it goes in with the uh, Alien 4s and the Alien series. Yeah, I do think it fits with their Alien series. I would series. definitely get one of these. I mean, you know, 154 CM. I would probably get the black one or one of the new carbon fiber ones that we hopefully, hopefully I like get the, in. Yeah, I like Yeah. Because they have one that was like carbon fiber and like a gold G10. Well, you don't have the blue one either, do you? Uh, no, we sold all the blue ones before I could oh. get them on here. So, sorry. It's disappointing. Yep. Next up is the Kershaw Endgame. Uh -huh. We have a Marvel theme, Thor Endgame. Completely unintentional. Which I will take full credit for anyways. Okay. So, this next level, that's their new thing, is next level pocket knives. Aha. Uh -huh. Is 7.5 inches overall with a 3.25 inch D2 steel spear point blade with... A stone wash finish plain edge is 0.108 inches thick and has jimping. 
This high carbon tool steel blade is highly wear resistant and offers great edge retention, not to mention the finish hides the scratches. Okay, so. The handle is stainless steel with a bead blasted finish, bronze PVD coated, and black GFN glass field nylon. nylon. Yeah, you didn't wait. Did not wait. I thought you were just going to say it when I said Because like it wasn't in do. green. That was it. He's like, oh, oh Overlays. It's just in blue. And mm -hmm. finally, a decorative pivot cap. This blade is deployed through a jimped flipper and operates on a KBT ball bearing system. Lastly, this frame lock has a deep carry pocket clip, which can be easily reversed for left or right carry. Mm -hmm. That's great. And it's just $63.84 at AtlanticKnife.com. All right, after you've heard the specs and you've seen it up close, what do you think of it? I feel like the Roadrunner. Not the Roadrunner. Wiley Coyote, Coyote when I do this. Mm -hmm. And every time I do specs, I feel like I'm announcing it at the Bush Gardens Amusement Park. Thank you for riding the big bad wolf. Enjoy your flight in fear. I like the interesting backspacer. It's not really a backspacer, but it kind of is. Yeah? I like that. That's cool. Well, I am better understanding this now. Are you? Okay, I get this next level thing. Do you? Yes. I had been so confused on why the next level, but now I get it. It's a little bit higher quality, which they've done before. But those are always in a price range like 110 or the blurs are like 65, 70. But now we're taking a basic pocket knife that they would carry, a $25, $30 one, and putting some quality into it. And it's a 50 or $60 one. I get it. That's great. I wasn't getting it. <clears throat> Obviously. Obviously. Mm -hmm. I think it's very Kershaw, this design. They have they have a few other knives that kind of have like this multi-layer industrial machine type design. This is their first knife that they've added to actually some contrasting overlays like the, the PVD bronze and mm -hmm. the black and then the uh, bead blast stainless, which I think is kind of cool. I mean, it's not really my D2 cup of tea. I'm not crazy about it, but it's nice and it cuts well. Does so. PVD stand for pointless visual display? I just wondered. First no. time for everything. You know how that works. Okay. Well, at least it wasn't PSD. <laughs> Particle separation device. That is a, that's... I really can't complain about this knife, though. So. I like it. It's nice. I mean, it's hard to be like, oh, I love it when you get all the other stuff. That That's what happens yeah. to you. Is you like start you get to, a little desensitized they, by yeah, all of it. And they push so. you right up into that $200 range. Like, yeah, that's a great knife. i got to have that one. That little bit of difference. But I can't really say anything bad, honestly. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think that you uh, would. So all right. First time for everything, though? Yes. Yeah. I don't say that, by the way. I can see it now, the bubbling tension we oh. have, you know, because one of these days I'm just going to lose it. Oh, lose it. Yeah. Which reminds me. Yep. We just wanted to thank two of our AKers for their support and comments. First, Mr. Pro Cell. Get it? Like the battery? Mm-hmm. We hope you're watching and that we can give you some good info on knives. Sure. And our other shout out is to Matt Adder for his... Um, Sorry, serious analysis of our deeply underlying issues with one another? How's yeah, that? You know what? I do hold a lot of resentment and animosity towards my fellow coworker. It's due, I know it's due to some unresolved issues with my psyche and my chakras are all off. I mean, I'm severely damaged, people. Therefore, I feel the need to reassert some form of illusion control over my own surroundings and establish a strong personal presence over my coworker. How's that for analysis, buddy? Wow. Yeah. But you know what? I know. My chakras almost went out the other day when I was heading down the road, and it was bumpy as can be. You know what? I rode my bike the other day, and I almost threw out my chakra. <laughs> All right. I know. It's, it's okay. Yep. First step for recovery, though, is to admit you have a problem. I have a problem. That's why I'm not talking. I don't have yeah. problems. Oh, Living drink today's all right. So we thank you, Matthew, YouTube's leading Psycho Knife Show co-host analyst for allowing us to see the light. Yes. I, I hope that with time and open communication, we can resolve and eliminate this tension. Mm, but probably not. The roots may be too deep already, you know? And time therapy and lots and like lots of alcohol will tell, you know? Luckily, mm -hmm. you've got that covered. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With my mother-in-law living with me, I mean, I have to. It's an unhealthy <laughs> coping mechanism. Mine's pool hustling. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're a pool hustler? Of course. If you're a pool hustler, I can't do it. So our next knife is going to be the United Cutlery M48. Are you War really a pool hustler? Warthog. That's for me to know, for you people to never find out. Because hmm. I hear that's illegal. 
don't but think first, so. But first, guys, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. That way you're never too far from a reliable knife source. All right. Him, not me. That's Atlantic Knife. We are reimagining professionalism. Bam. So, you can be entered into our giveaways, which will happen to be posting. Postponing one more week. One more week? Yep. One Simply week? because we want to. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Honestly, can I be honest with them? You can. I, I didn't do it. <laughs> so if you like, share, comment, subscribe, you'll be entered to win the SOG Terminus XR 0 to pivot in 2.1 seconds. Nice. So a 0 know. to pivot. Yeah. You've used that before, haven't you? Yes, I have on a banner I made. Well, if you answer the AK trivia question on AtlanticKnife.com's blog, you'll be entered to win the Kubi 202C. With carbon fiber handle, S35 steel blade, and blue anodized backspacer. I love wow. that backspacer. I think you're ready it's for great. Price is Right or Sale of the Century. I was thinking QVC, you know, and look at that me metallic color we have. On the oh, Kubi two hundred two C jewelry channel. Yeah, this is the best ring I have ever seen. I mean, since it doesn't the last even feel like I'm yesterday. wearing one. I mean, honestly, it, this I mean, is a statement piece. But but you can see it. Look at that glitter. Look at that shine. And for only four Shem payments wow. of four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. Four dollars ninety nine cent. Oh wow! This piece can be part oh, of your repertoire. Wait a minute. I think we've sold out of the blue. Okay. What's that? Price break three ninety nine. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we gotta get back to the table. We've never done this on price break. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, go ahead. Okay, back back to the table. Go ahead. All right, so I'll give you the specs. Here we are. You can mark that part as uh, skip. Uh, yeah. All thanks. right. First, the United Cutlery M48 Warthog is 11.125 inch overall oh, with a. I'm not gonna do the accent, huh? No. Because it's not spelled H O G. With a 4.375 inch. Don't over talk the host. I'm so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I was not in tune with your feelings at that point. Can I say D2? Moment. Can I say the D2? Yes, I'm Thank sorry. You. Go ahead. Ah, D2. Tools. I can't. You know what? I cannot work under these Are conditions. Are you feeling attacked? D2 steel blade That's with okay. notching. We call that jimping around here. On the spine. The blade also sports a two tone look with black oxidized bead blasted finish. Yeah, it's got both. Blade is deployed with huge flipper stud. And operates on an ultra smooth ball bearing pivot system. What do we call that? The B ball bust? B B U S? I'm, I can't remember. The U S. The B S. The B S U U S. Okay. Perfect for one handed opening using the blade spur. That's United Cutlery's word, not mine. Yeah, I bet it was. Handles black tough ejection molded nylon with textured finger grooves and jimping. All right. For improved grip. Finally, this battle-ready pocket knife has a stainless steel tip-down pocket clip for the on-the-go carry. All right, so I will go first. You do it. I really like this knife. Do you? Yeah, it's big like Wendy's Colt Brute, which I like, mm. and I haven't stolen from her because she would get really angry. And the Amari Colosso type of vibe, but it's also kind of got the feel of the Cyclones. You know the M48 Cyclones that I got in mm -hmm. the, the Battle Scar Series 2? Because of the dual finishes and the heavy dutiness of it, I like the pivot cap cover because it's M48's little signia there. M48 forever. I would definitely recommend getting this one just to have a piece of knife candy. You know, we'll say that it does seem like we like a lot of the knives and don't really dislike a lot of them. Notice <laughs> that? That's because if we dislike them, the boss would be real. We don't us. even really put them out here. <laughs> well, that's true. If we like it, we're like, we don't really want to put that crap nah. on the show, do we? Like, okay. we, what was that one we were going to do? The uh, the Max or the, the what was that? Oh, one? the Maxis. The Maxis. I was like, yeah, well, let's see what that is. Help. And then I get it and I go, oh, we can't put this on the show. All right. So. And we still shall sell. <laughs> there we go. We don't? Went back. Oh, okay. I like this knife. It reminds me of a cold steel. You said a Espada. A Spada. A Spartan. A Spada. Same thing. Could be a Raja. Got that handle, that little curve. Mm -hmm. Now, the handle does have a little different feel than the Grivery handle that you would find on the Cold Steel. True, but this isn't Cold Steel. Either. No, it's, it's not. It's cutlery. And it's got a quality D2 blade. It does. I mean, so... And it still has their look. It does. It does. So, if you like that, I believe people will refer to it as Mall Ninja and some other word that we don't Did you use. Did say Mall Ninja? Yeah, that's what they call it. Mall Ninja. Yeah. Oh, it's supposed to be bad. Oh, that's right. Okay. It's a derogatory term like for a, gas like station a cheap knife. knife. Yes. I got you now. I this got has you. that look, kind of, 
Except I would get this. But you got the quality. There's so. a reason why they have those. It's because people like them. Oh, they do. We exactly. So, lots of them get sold. I, I mean, we already people sold thought that the these. apocalypse was over. Uh-uh, buddy. It's we still bad. sell zombie swords. We do. We mm -hmm. still do. After yeah. like 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> We've had All those right. things forever. So give them the best part. Here is the best part, people. It is only $67.99 one time. Free shipping. I don't land knife dot com. Yeah, we always do free shipping, yeah. don't we? Right mm -hmm. here. That's nice of us. It must I think. be QVC like. Gosh. Oh, is that All what right. you're doing? Yes. You have to tell me this stuff. I'm sorry. I, I try to look at you with the tension between us. Oh yes. All I right. can't stare directly at the camera because then we'll freak people out. Okay, that brings us to another piece of knife candy. That's right, the special appearance from Extrema Ratio's BD2 Contractor. We're big fans of the BD2s here. Yes. Now we are going to do spend a whole lot of time on this one because it's very similar to the BD2 Lucky, which I liked a lot. Granted, a good knife challenge, but we want to get the other knife on the table. Don't forget so. double edge. Okay, go so ahead. So you take it away. All right. This okay. is a double-edged liner lock. Feature the 3.75 inch Mill C 13924. That was the secret code to oh, the safe. that's right. Burnished, partially serrated, bowler N69 stainless dagger blade. I'm going to give you time to digest Wipe it. the brow there. Dab it. Donut. 8.75 inch overall. This knife also has an anodized aluminum handle mm -hmm. and pocket clip. I like that. Offered in either blackout or tan with the stonewash finish instead. Yeah, the, the brown one has the stonewash the finish. Yeah, yeah. I got you. Blade is open with the dual sided thumb levers with their own jimping. I'll just say that this one has a slight change to the blade style and it also features serrations. Mm -hmm. The other one does not. Unlike the BD2 Lucky, yep. However, they are so close to the same knife. I think they're even the same size, so just keep that in mind. However, I do think Jimmy the Tulip would have no problem using this contractor on a contract, if you know what I mean. Ah, or Leon the Professional. Or Bullet Tooth Tony. Or Arthur Bishop. Or John Wick. <laughs> Sorry, okay. And the Extreme Ratio BD2 contractor is just 176 at LionKnife.com. Right here. You know what makes me uncomfortable? It's made in Italy. That brings us to our next blade on the table and the My mother-in-law. Blade on the I thought it was me. Okay, go ahead. Oh, you want me to go? Yeah, it's All inevitable. Right. Just you know, I was going to do the lawnmower story. Oh, the lawnmower yeah. story. I may, I'll do, you know what? It's actually two. I'll do one real quick. Okay. I got a lawnmower fixed again. Okay. That was Picked it nice up, speed. brought it home. She said, how much do I owe you? I said, nothing. Don't worry about it. It's fine. All right, went about our business. Okay. A couple days later, she's like, yeah, you know, the lawnmower man, he, he won't be working for a while. He fell and broke some ribs. How'd you know that? He had, I, mean, I ain't never told her his name. She's like, well, I got his card so I could call him. You called him? I'm like, yeah. What for? To see how much you paid him. Okay. What part of... To forget about it? Yeah. Did you not understand? No. But you know what? She's ridiculous like it. I know you don't think she's quite ridiculous like that, but let me tell you. Well, she wanted to give it to you and you wouldn't tell her. Oh my gosh, her, so. you should know how ridiculous she is. Yeah. Remember the time that we were going to go to, I think we were going to go to like Bethesda or Ocean City, and then she wanted to go, oh, we were all going Wait, to go. Wait, was this the 4th of July? Yes, and she wanted to go oh, to New Jersey. Oh, I didn't know we were Jersey, bringing that up anymore. Her hometown, oh, uh, on the shore, I might add to visit uh, for a 50th wedding anniversary. Oh. Somebody was doing renewing their vows. And that I said, well, you know time. what? You can come with us and we'll just go to the shore yeah, instead we'll of going to Ocean there. City. We'll go. Yeah, we'll go up there. It's no big deal. Yeah. We'll go anywhere. So we did. And then we got ready to go, you remember? And there she was in her Corolla. I asked you if she was coming with us and you said, yeah. And I'm like, is she like staying in the car? Because there might not be enough room. I might just have to stay here and work. And you're like, no, there's enough room for everybody. And then we mm -hmm. get there and she's taking her own car. Okay, so that's ridiculous enough. She wants to drive herself. Even though she asked, thirteen you, hours. Asked you to come along. Can yeah. I come with you? Yeah, yeah. Like I'm gonna escort, like the police. You know. Okay. So, <laughs> think that's funeral. ridiculous. More Here's like the funeral. ridiculous part. We haven't even reached ridiculous. We yet. drive all the way there. We have stopped several times. Whatever. Of course, we were within like thirty minutes, maybe twenty minutes mm -hmm. of where we need to be. We're going down one of the little back roads, like forty-five miles an hour, and it just rained. So it's just a it, little slick. A little drizzle. Little. It wasn't crazy rain. And I had to stop for a stoplight. So I stopped, and she ran right into the back of my car. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know what happened. I was sitting like, what just happened? I was looking in the mirror, and I'm like, she's going to hit us. And I tried to roll up some. 
not to go past the intersection where I would drive out into traffic, but she hit the bumper. She just freaking hit Yeah, Joel was in the car with her. I can't remember who else was in there. One of your and kids my was wife in the car. was angry. And because I think you're crispy. She wouldn't let her drive no more. She's like, you can't drive. You have to have somebody now, drive you. I, I should have at the beginning been like, why are we letting this slight little but the woman point drive is, us? But she wanted to drive her own car. Point is, why is some old woman following if she It's how she is. I mean, it's how she is. Man. She asked if you wanted if she I remember this. I now. actually just remembered I got two mower stories. I mean, it's how she is. Alright. She hit the back of your right car. into the back of it, yeah. Your mother in law hit your car. Oh yeah. And it's not like it was a crazy, like, she had to keep up with you. You know, there's four lanes of traffic. We no. were almost there. Two-lane road. It was one of the back roads, like 35 or something that goes up. You don't go that quickly. Yeah. And it's not like the no. stoplight was, like, red-green. I think green, she was red. afraid we were going to leave her. She but knows the place. I and know. She, she lived there for 40 years. I'm from there. I she am it. I remember her. She still says coffee. Even though That's her New she York. hasn't lived there since, what, 63? That's when she was Bronx, when she was born there. But she lived in New Jersey until like 1999 or something. I don't uh, know. Not 1999. She said she like lived that. in Virginia. 90. 90. She lived there a long time. She's not young. I she know. She was married. Had kids that were grown by the time she got down here. All right, let's move on. That, that was fun. Mm -hmm. All right, Tops Hornero. I'm sure there'll be lots let's of comments about running into the back of your car. <laughs> I wonder if anyone else has had that happen. I oh, feel like yes. Their mother -in -law She's not the ran... only one. Oh my gosh. Wow. Anyways, this fixed blade is 7.13 inches overall with a 3 inch 1095 high carbon steel blade, which comes in about 56, 58 on the HR letter after B scale and has a black traction coating. Handle is black and tan canvas micarta with a lander hole. It's also got some red liners there. Weighs just 5.3 ounces and comes with a. OD green paracord lanyard, a black kydex sheath, and belt loop, and the reimagined tops with <laughs> Designed by Tomas Reynosa. The knife solves a smaller blade, smaller handle problem. This knife has a smaller blade and a larger handle. That way you don't have to compromise. That was nice how you pulled that out with yeah, door tie. I was showing them. You so. have to compromise on your carryability there, yeah. but still gets a knife that fits your whole hand. Named after the national bird of Argentina, where Tomas is from. It's perfect for any wilderness survival activity, along with being an effective EDC. That was real nice, see. Thank you. Once again, there's that tension. That was uh, well put, well thought Blood out. Lucid mm -hmm. objection. Overruled. Overruled. It's just $99.84. Right here. Adelaineknife.com. Also made in the USA. We always seem to forget that when we do these tops. Everybody knows tops makes them in the USA. Well, they should. Top to go to. If they go. don't. So, I'll let you go first. What do you think? Oh, I like it. I mean, yeah, it's I'll like every other it. tops knife. This reminds me of the, I can't remember what the series is they did with the other company. We did them about a year and a half. The Viking? Viking Tactical. Viking Tactical, yeah. Very nice. I like how they think about your grip. Mm-hmm. Um, both ways, remember? I like the micarta. I like the extra fatness in the handle. That helps you feel like it's a bigger knife than it is. And I can do it with or without the uh, lanyard cord. I don't really care. I think it's a good carry with carry with you knife, other than the whistle, if you couldn't tell. Oh, the whistle. If you're heading out camping with family or you're going on a day hike, it's good. I'm not crazy about Topps' smaller knives. Usually the poker was okay. I mean, I like that one and the scalpel was okay. I just wasn't crazy about them. Mm -hmm. I'm more of a, a rapid strike type of person. It's a boot knife. It's like eight and a half, I think. But overall, I think it has good materials. Finish, as always, is nice from Topps. I do think the larger handle with the smaller blade is a is a good way to go. Because most people, when they're using a knife, they're like, there isn't enough handle for me to mm -hmm. do stuff with. And I think this is good. I'm curious to see, actually, how everyone else, the knife community, has responded. Because I think it's good. Yeah, I think that... Uh People who like this, this size knife will, will definitely like this one. I think it's one, one of their better. I'm like a tracker person, small. so I would definitely want that one. I, I like I like the Tom Brown tracker, but I think I like this one. You just can't carry enough knives. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. another problem. Is like I have to switch. I'm like, well, which one do I need right now? I'm like, I'll go with that one and this mm -hmm. one, and then I'll be, I have to leave that one behind. So. All right. Since that was our last knife, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, along with ringing the notification bell. bell. Oh, so you can be linked to AK. We're also on social. We're also on social media sites like Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, iTV, and Instagram. 
along with Parlor, where we post pictures, videos, giveaways, and all things knife related. Per the dorm, I'm C, and this is tension brimming below the surface, Joel. Just Joel. I'm a bomb about to explode. A teapot about to whistle. Ooh, a stock that's about to drop. I learned that one from Kramer. A uh, clock about to chime. Oh, a race car in red. Guns of Navarro. Fly TNT. Never. I, uh, I said you... never. We got any more? We got another ones that I can do. I, I mean, can't uh, think of any more. Think of it, so. Oh, you call it. You... I'm thinking. You wrote it. Pulp Fiction. Well, there's a reason for that. I know there is. That's where Jules gets her name. <gasps> it's not the matter of if, but when. And we are signing off. Us ending the show. Inevitable. Not the last word. Blah. 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 <laughs>